This is Ms. Karen Kingsley, youthful, gifted, attractive, a successful freelance architect who still finds time to serve the children of her community as a volunteer crossing guard. A very special kind of woman, perhaps more special than you can imagine. It was less than a year ago. Karen was returning from a visit to her favorite Aunt Margaret in the small township of Springfield. It was here that something took place which gave her extraordinary powers. how Karen Kingsley became safety woman. getting home today, aren't you? It's okay. I got permission from my mother to stay after school to help Mrs. Lopez set up the fire prevention display in the auditorium. Hey, that sounds interesting. I'm off duty now. You care to walk home with me? You can tell me all about the fire prevention display, okay? Sure, Mrs. Kingston. It's a neat display. Fire prevention is an important subject. Do you know more than 500 boys and girls about your age lost their lives in house fires last year? Yeah, that's why Mrs. Lopez had us make a display for the whole school to see. I think that was a good idea. We learned that fires have just three things to get started. One, something to burn. That's the fuel. Two, oxygen, which comes from the air. And three, heat. Take any one of them away and there's no fire.
There's nothing we can do about the oxygen because air is everywhere. But getting rid of the fuel would be a good start. Is that why Chuck was cleaning out the garage Saturday? Yeah, and he made a poster about it for his play. His garage sure was a mess. You're home free when you're fuel free. Yes, a clean house is a good way to prevent fires. No fuel, no fire. Very good. We learned that kids playing with matches and grown-ups smoking cigarettes carelessly cause more house fires than anything else does. Yes, lots of fires are caused by carelessness at home. And electrical fires are dangerous, too. They sure are. Overloaded circuits and frayed wires cause fires. Well, here's your house. Bye, Miss Tinkley. See you tomorrow. Take care, Lynn. Your fire prevention display sounds great. over at Aunt Miriam's house. Whew! Winning basketball game sure makes you hungry. area where being alert really pays off. And you made that flame way too high, and you left the paper on the stove. If you were aware of that danger, you could have avoided it. You know, something as simple as a can of baking soda spread on that fire would have given you precious moments to think. You're right, safety woman. Do you know the danger dodgers salute, Kevin? Aware, alert, alive. That's right. Now, let's review what's meant by the Danger Dodger motto. Being aware means knowing the dangers that surround us. And being alert involves planning ahead to avoid those dangers. Knowing what to do is what keeps us alive. Getting an early warning can save lives. Many people use smoke detectors in their homes to warn them of a fire before it has a chance to spread, and that's an excellent idea. But knowing what to do after the alarm has sounded is even more important. Phone immediately and have the fire emergency number taped right to your telephone. Always sleep with a flashlight near at hand in case of a power failure. I know several ways to get out of the house if fire's blocking the door. Well, good for you, Kevin. You know, that should be part of every family's fire survival plan, along with regular home fire drills to make sure that that plan is a good one. Now, Kevin, this fire escape plan is something you can share with the other members of your Danger Dodger Club. Yeah, I do it myself. I see your diagram shows all the main and secondary exits. And besides fire prevention, you can practice safety in other ways. Right now, Tommy is taking the door off his old refrigerator. This is a lot of work, but it sure is worth it. Don't want any little kid getting stuck inside and suffocating. Wait till Dad gets home from work and sees the good job I've done. Better put Dad's tools away. Yeah. 
Dad's gone. Dad's gone. Emergency. I must go, Kevin. Danger, Dodger. I salute you. Aware. Alert. Alive. <laughs> The one thing everyone needs to know about guns is this. Every gun is a loaded gun. Now, 600 people of your age died last year from bullets in guns that they thought were empty. For that reason, guns are never to be played with. Not ever. All guns should be safely locked away. I'm sorry, Guardiana. I know, Tommy. But if we're not alert to dangerous things like a gun, how are we going to avoid the more innocent-looking things around our homes that can harm us almost as much? Toys certainly don't look as deadly as a gun. But left scattered around on a flight of stairs, they can be just as dangerous. Falls are the most common cause of home injuries. Be sure that hallways and stairwells are well lighted. You know, Tommy, hundreds of boys and girls are badly injured every year in falls around the house. Falls that could be avoided. Picking up your own playthings and helping a younger brother or sister to pick up theirs can save a life. And that life could be your own or that of someone you love. Golly! And we need to make our homes fallproof by cleaning up slippery spills immediately. A wet floor or a slippery tub is a real hazard, Tommy. To prevent falls, be sure to use non-skid material for sure footing and step out onto a dry area. Falls while reaching are especially dangerous. Just last week, for example, Terry tried to hang a plant from her patio roof. To reach the hook, she had to use a step ladder. But the one she chose was a little too short. She should have used a tall, sturdy ladder. Wow, you've really got to be careful all the time, don't you, Guardian? Yes, but I can't be everywhere at once. See those? They're killers, too. Well, they weren't meant to be. The labels even warn you of the harm they can do. Medicines, cleaning products, and paints should be stored on high shelves, well out of the reach of small children. We all need to learn to read labels more carefully, Tommy. Looking for key words like danger, caution, or poison can alert us to possible harm. And if a poison or harmful substance is swallowed, call your doctor immediately. I better start reading labels, huh, Guardiana? Right, Tommy. Exactly right. Labels are important. But appliances don't have labels to warn us of electrical shock. Always get permission from your parents before using any electrical tool or appliance. And as a safety precaution, always stand in a dry place when touching anything electrical. Old, worn wiring can cause severe electrical shock or fires. It should be repaired or replaced. You can protect small children by covering electrical outlets with safety caps. I won't forget what you've taught me, safety woman. Danger Dodger, I salute you. Hey, Miss Kingsley. Do you know the Danger Dodger salute? Oh, I think so. 